Greetings and welcome to SciFake.com. We continue our fierce crusade against a defrauder and double dealer named Teresa Caputo. Teresa claims she can speak to the dead, however, SciFake has exposed her orchestrated routine with video, and many are now starting to see the wavering pattern. Watch this translucent video of Teresa Caputo's feeble and handicapped attempt to impress actress Sarah Gilbert. Caputo's dialogue is a blueprint of her previous decrepit readings, and the information that she delivers to Gilbert was found on the internet by SciFake. I love about this that your dad's way of acknowledging your son, that he knows of your son, and that he held his soul before coming here into the physical world. I'm and that cry. he wants to thank you for naming him after him, whether if it's a middle name, first name, initial. His middle name, yeah. Perfect. So it's his way. The letter of his name, yeah. Excellent. That's just really his way of acknowledging that he knows of your son. I mean, there's and no way you could know that. Actually, Sarah, there is a way, and it's called the Internet. And SciFake found the same information on the popular website imdb.com. According to the website, Sarah's dad's name is Harold, and her son's middle name is Hank, and both are spelled with the letter H. Remind you that this information was easily and readily available on the internet prior to Caputo's appearance. And I always was sad that... He didn't get to meet my kids. Yeah, but so he tells really me he lo your, you see a lot of your son, you see a lot of your dad in your son. Yeah. And he also ass. acknowledges the number seven and the number ten. So seven would either be an age or months. According to the website, Sarah's son was born at the end of October, and at the time of this air date her son was seven. October being the tenth month, and seven being the age of Sarah's son. All this information is not a mystery, and was easily found on the internet. Or his like last of time. That's his age. Yeah, and he was born in October. Perfect. It is our opinion Caputo is a cold reader and a con playing on the emotions of the despondent. Emotionally vulnerable people, such as grieving families, may be easy targets of Caputo because they desperately want to connect with loved ones they have lost. SciFake.com will continue the onslaught against a fraud who preys on the sensitive. Our next video will flaunt her mistakes and show you. I want to talk about the young male that passed in the tragedy. Is this your son? No. And who's the mother figure for you on the other side? I don't know. Who's Gladys or Gail? Neither. Did you lose a son? And show you how Teresa Caputo orchestrates her plan to zone in on her prey. Stay tuned.